channel and welcome to a new in new month Primark haul let me tell you this is I know I say this every time <laughs> but this is my favorite Primark haul I've ever done it was like I went in there and everything that I liked they had my size and it was just meant to be I got some incredible things I even said to Bradley like should I do part one and two because I have a lot of stuff but I think I'll just do it all in this video so I hope you guys are nice and cozy grab a drink grab a snack and if you want to see all the new and Primark stuff then please keep watching if you are new to my channel then it would mean the absolute world to me if you did subscribe I upload every Wednesday and Sunday on this channel and a lot of the content that I do a weekly vlogs hauls Primark new in affordable things and I really think you guys would like it if you come here to watch this video so the first thing that I need to show you is actually something that I'm wearing and I think I showed you this last month I've had this for a couple of weeks now but I actually ordered a white dress from Zara and I took it back because it was like 60 pounds and I said to Bridie, I just can't justify that on a really nice classic white dress for summer. So I literally took it back. We went straight to Primark after and I found this dress. Um, and I've been posting it all over my Instagram like crazy. And I've been living in it because it is so nice, so comfortable. Like just one of those dresses, especially in the spring summer that you can just grab from your wardrobe. Really reliable, easy to put on. Um, and it's just that lovely material that's really easy to wear do you know what i mean so i saw this love it and then this is really similar this dress i'm not sure if i've shown you guys this before but, but i saved it to show you in this video so this was 15 pounds i can't remember how much this dress was i think it was 15 pounds i think but this one is kind of like a cover-up i'm assuming because it is see-through and it was with the bikinis so i think it's a cover-up but you could wear a slip dress underneath and just wear it as like a cute little dress um, but this is so cute and I thought for holiday I can just chuck this on over my swimsuit and it's perfect um, and even hot days like around the house and it's got pockets I love things that have pockets I never put anything in the pockets but I love the concept of it so I thought this was really cute so before I begin and show you guys the rest of the items I wanted to say a massive thank you to Polish London who have really kindly partly sponsored today's video Polish London is an oil care brand that I have genuinely used for years now and I love them I love working with them they have the most beautiful products ever and I thought I could share with you some of my favorites they've also given me a discount code for you guys so if you use the code amy20 you'll get 20% of everything which is incredible I'm actually going to be filming an evening routine with me and Bradley so I'll pop that on my Instagram reels and my TikTok so if you want to see us using the products up close it will all be over there and um, I thought I could talk about some of my favorites so Debbie really kindly sent me top-ups of the products that I needed um first up we have the teeth whitening strips now these are the ones I have in my Polish London bag already. I've got four left from the previous packet I had. So they have a 14 day packet and also a 28 day packet. I always say to you guys, I recommend getting the 28 day because you could do the 14 day course within that and then afterwards just top up every now and then like if you've got an event coming up or if you're going on holiday and you want your teeth to be really nice and white and sparkly, this is perfect. So the most common questions I get about the teeth whitening are, do they cause sensitivity? Are they uncomfortable to wear? How long do you have to keep them in for? I haven't got time for them. And honestly, you guys, they are so easy and convenient. So each of the strips look like this. They don't cause sensitivity and they don't strip the enamel from your teeth. A lot of teeth whitening products do that, which isn't what you want because you're gonna ruin your teeth, especially over time. Your teeth are gonna get more sensitive, so you really wanna protect them, but you also want them to be really nice and white and shiny. Every year, especially, like Bradley's always used these, but mainly before we go on holiday, Bradley would do this course, and it is so easy, let me tell you. So, this is what's inside. I'm just gonna pop them back after, so obviously I'm not wasting it. So in each of these, this is what the strips look like. They are so thin. Um, the top one here, which is the long one, this is for your top teeth. And then the short one is for your bottom teeth. You literally peel it off like it's a sticker. Um, and my top tip would be obviously brush your teeth before you do it, dry them with a towel, then pop them on and they'll really stick and kind of get into all the creases of your teeth. You keep them on between 30 and 60 minutes. So you can literally do it before you go to bed. We all know, we all love a little scroll on our phones or a read on our book before bed. So that is the perfect time to do it in my opinion or whatever time of day suits you and your lifestyle. Um, so yeah, these are a must have if you're looking to whiten your teeth, like 
that is you need these <laughs> so i have my electric toothbrush upstairs which is from polish london and um, but in my middle bathroom it sounds really extra but we always change where we brush our teeth in the night so i've got the bamboo toothbrush in this toilet um, and in each bathroom me and bradley also have one of these and you're probably thinking what is that case on your toothbrush so this is the polish london uvc toothbrush sterilizer so you literally charge it and it lasts so long i think it's around 30 days you pop your toothbrush in it after you finish brushing and as you can see a blue light comes on and this blue light lasts for three minutes it also comes with a wall mount so you'd have brushed your teeth by then you pop it in your bathroom and it will sterilize your toothbrush in three minutes this works on most toothbrushes but obviously i recommend the polished london ones if you guys don't sterilize your toothbrush how because <laughs> since i've had this i'm like how have i lived without this before like your toothbrush lives in the bathroom think about all the germs that are flying around mm -mm. Mm -mm. since i've had this i've literally been like how have i not had this before so that is a must have and then i also love the teeth whitening powder and um, so this is really good just to freshen up your teeth it helps get rid of any stains i don't know about you guys i drink a lot of coffee and um, this is what this is what the powder looks like i don't know about you guys but i drink a lot of coffee so i do have some stains and stuff on my teeth and i'm like oh my god i need to get rid of them this is a really good way to do it and you literally see results instantly so they're just a few of my favorite products from polish london i feel like i could talk about them all day because i'm so passionate about them um, and i genuinely love them they genuinely work and they will help your teeth especially in the long run i have so many favorite products so if you want to know any more of my favorites then let me know in the comments down below don't forget you can use my code amy20 and you'll get 20 percent off everything from polish london i'm genuinely being 1 million percent honest and their products genuinely work they do what they say on the packets um, and i really love them and i'm so thankful to work with them because i genuinely love them and the brand and debbie oh i could talk about them all day but yeah i'll pop links to them in the description box down below so the next item that i'm going to show you guys from primark like i say i don't do my hauls in any order i kind of just pick things out of the bags if you prefer me to in orders i can create like different sections for you guys then let me know but yeah i've just never done it but let me know if you do want me to do that in the comments down below so i saw these in the home section i thought these are incredible these are reusable ice sticks so these are for two pounds it's a packet of six and you obviously freeze them and they fit really easily in your water bottle so it's a really good way in the spring summer especially to keep your drink's really cool and if you've got any bottles that are really small on the top these are perfect because normal ice cubes do you know when they're like too big and they're so annoying to like fit into your bottles i thought these are really good and if you don't like ice like watering down your drinks they're also brilliant next up if you watch my previous video you would have seen a lot of these products because i filmed a new in primark and um, this is a really cute hat so this is only five pounds and of course i was thinking of holiday i love it literally obsessed with this they had this in a couple of different colours. I think a sage one as well, which I really liked. But I thought this one is perfect. A lot more versatile for my summer outfits. Um, and I really love the quality of it as well. It's really, really good. So excited to take this away with me. I really love like a hat and accessory. I really do. Next up, we have the cutest necklace ever. So this was £3.50. And I thought this is so cute. I love how it's just summer vibes. Like, I saw this and thought... Oh my god you guys know already how much i love like my necklace stacks and things like that um so this is perfect to me i'm really excited to wear this really love that so majority of the stuff i got in a medium or a small i i think i'm literally like an in between small and medium so some of the stuff that i have is a little bit bigger than i'd like but at least i've got the receipt so i can just swap it um so next up is this gorgeous dress so this was 12 pounds um, and they had this in quite a few different colours, which I also showed in my previous video. Um, so it's a really cute puff sleeve, square neckline, and it's kind of a slight waffly kind of material, but it's a bit thinner, which is really nice. And you can see the quality up there. And um, this is just a gorgeous dress. I really like this colour. When I picked it up, Bradley was like, you really like the greens and stuff at the minute. Um, and I do, like greens and blue. I don't know what it is. I'm just each year i feel like every season i have a new color palette that i'm obsessed with and this year it is greens and blues 
I don't know what it is. I love them. So I'm excited to wear this. Also, if I haven't filmed try on clips in this video, then definitely check out my Instagram where I'll be filming all of the try on hauls and all that kind of stuff over there. So I'll put my Instagram on screen if you guys wanted to know. So next up we have these grips. I, Primark grips and me, were like this. I have them in my hair all the time. Like after I film this video, I will most likely put one of these in my hair, put my hair back, put my comfy clothes on, which I have some more of, and go downstairs and make some lunch and edit. But these are the grips that I have. Um, I love the different colours and the varieties of these. Um, I also really love the matte ones as well because they really help to like hold your hair. Um, also, I've opened the window because today it's quite like a hot day, which I'm not used to when I'm filming. I feel like I'm getting a sweaty upper lip. But I've just realised you can probably hear all the birds outside. <laughs> so I hope you like it. It's quite relaxing. Since we moved like a little bit above from Brighton, we don't have as many seagulls where we live. But we have the most relaxing birds and I love it. But I think I'm just used to it now that I forget. So sorry if you can hear that. So I saw so many people do Primark New Wins and stuff on Instagram. And I... These are the kind of items that I saw and I was like, oh my God, I need to get my hands on them. And they had them in my size. So this is the first pair of sliders because I needed more apparently. And um, these were nine pounds. Also, I'm really liking, oh, I think this is a collab. I was gonna say, I'm really liking the new tags, but I think it's a collab. These sliders are everything. I'm like a six, seven, and I always get my sliders in a seven. I just think, I don't know, I don't like my feet to be too tight in them. I don't know, it's like a weird thing that I have, but anyway, I'm definitely more of a size six, but hey ho. So these are the most gorgeous like crochet crossover sliders um, with the black and then cream kind of detailing. I think they're absolutely stunning. I'm obsessed. Like I'm gonna get so much use out of these. Um, and then I also saw them in the gorgeous beige colour. Um, so again, these are nine pounds and they're just stunning. I really love the tan and the beige and I really like the detailing around the edges. I think they're amazing. Primark shoes this year, I'm not even joking, are a 10 out of 10. I have so many more to show you because of how good it is. And I was trying to like pick only a couple because I thought, okay, I can't have too many, but I also thought, oh my God, what if I never find these again? So I've got quite a lot, but how nice are they? I picked up two pairs of sunglasses. So this is the first one, which was £3.50. I really like the tortoise shell kind of look on it. Um, I love them, like really love them. These are really similar to my Tom Ford ones that I have. They're a little bit smaller, but I really like them. They're the kind of ones that are perfect when you're going out for the day and then if you kind of forget your sunglasses or something it's kind of like oh, okay they're from primark do you know what i mean um and then these ones were also three pound fifty i'm obsessed i'm sorry how are these primark these at least look like the key ones like the size of them the quality they're like exactly the same so you guys need to go to Primark for sunglasses. They had so many more as well, like the cut eye ones, literally loads. We all know I got a bit excited down the pajama aisle <laughs> and I'm not sorry about it. So these I think are gonna be my new favorite pajamas. I picked up these blue ones and I know all of you always say to me, you don't need any new pajamas. I know, I literally live in pajamas. They're my favorite thing to wear. I've always been this way. And, and a lot of them that don't fit me anymore, I do donate. I had a sort out, I think maybe a few weeks ago, because loads of them didn't fit me. And I got rid of so many, even my favorite ones I've loved for years, but there was just no use because they didn't fit me. So I think I've got, I think I've got five or six pairs of pajamas. So I just wanted to add a couple more because I saw these and I was like, I can't not get them. Although I think the price of these have definitely gone up because I've just realized these bottoms were 14 pounds. That is quite expensive. But if you felt the quality, these feel exactly the same quality as my white company ones. And I'm not even joking. So maybe this is a good price, but I really love this. It's like a mixture between like silk, cotton, bamboo, all into one. It's amazing. And um, so this is what they feel like. And the color, 
10 out of 10. And then I also picked it up um, in two different tops. So I've got a vest top for the evenings when it's a little bit warmer. Um, and the vest top was seven pounds. Again, picked this up in a medium, super cute. Um, and then I also picked it up in like the buttoned kind of one. Um, and this was 14 pounds. So again, in a medium. So really comfy. This is like a good Sunday one. But not only that, it also came <laughs> with a dressing gown. <laughs> and this was 18 pounds. So this is actually a really cute set to get someone for like a present or anything. Um, I thought this was so cute. So yeah, again, the material of this, I'm just obsessed with and I want to wash them as soon as possible because I want to put them on tonight Don't think I'll have time though because they probably won't dry in time um, And then I thought I could mix and match those tops with these shorts as well So these are the cutest little shorts ever. They were seven pounds And they've got really lovely little flowers on um, and cute little pockets And I really like the little lounge tag that Primark have um, Really lovely. The one thing I'd say I wish they had a drawstring because Sometimes they're just, they fall down a little bit, but yeah, I mean, it should be fine. Um, and then I also saw this gorgeous print, which reminded me of like the Dior patterns on like bags and stuff. Um, so the shorts were seven pounds. How cute. And then the top was seven pounds as well. So this is a really cute little cami. This was a really cute little cami and you can see I'm loving like blues and stuff at the minute. Oh, I just love it. It literally looks like a dual print. It's like art. How beautiful is that? Yeah, really love these. Just wish, wish they had drawstrings. It's the only thing. Sorry, guys. <laughs> My dress is like falling down. Thoughts about that. I picked up this sage green little top bralette. I think, I think it's a bra because I literally have about 10 of these and I wear them as bras. But <sighs> seam free cami, it's a crop top. <laughs> but I literally wear them as bras because they're really comfy like on the inside it's like double layered and it's so soft and they're £3.50 um, I wish I got a couple more in the small because over time I've had like the large I've had the medium but they're so baggy especially around like my waist and my boobs that they just they don't support <laughs> so I needed to get a smaller size I think I picked up another colour I can't remember, but this is a gorgeous colour. So for my really, for my really bougie sunglasses, I got a bougie sunglasses, what's this called, like a chain? This was £2.50, but it's got little pearls on. And obviously it goes on your sunglasses. So like when you're on holiday and stuff and you're, you've got your sunglasses on and you're like by the pool or you're going for lunch or whatever, you can just take them down and it's like a necklace. And it looks like it's part of your outfit. I had one of these chains last year um, and we got it from a shop in Spain, I think. When we stopped off in Spain um, and I loved it. But I don't know where it's gone. So luckily I found a new one and I actually prefer that one. So another thing for my holiday and obviously for my wardrobe, these are very welcome because I don't have a pair of heels like this in black. Um, well, these really lovely block heels. So these were £16. I got them in a size 6. Um, and these are perfect for holiday. Last year, I had a pair of white heels that I took on holiday with me. Um, and they were literally like this. And they were so comfortable. But because I only had but I only had the white in them and I wish I had more colours. Um, so I picked up them in black. And I thought these are just staples to have throughout the whole of the year. And they've got like a long bit here, which kind of goes up your ankle as well. Um, so I thought these are really cute and a really nice size. I'm not one for really high heels. I just, I can't wear them. <laughs> I could, my feet get tired after like two minutes of wearing them. So I need block heels. That's like my way to go. I'm sorry, but these are like the Hermes dupes. Seven pounds, seven pounds. I think I've got these in white, I think. Did I get them a few months ago in white? I think I did. Anyway seven pounds and i got them in black guys how insane are these but even like the stitching i'm obsessed i also picked them up in another color but it's in the other bag so i'll have to show you guys that um when i can find them but seven pounds i can't i actually can't believe it how insane are these seven pounds 
guys you don't need to go anywhere else to find sliders and shoes this spring summer let's go to primark because I can't, I have no words. Okay, so I did pick up another one of these tops. I got it in an extra small, um, and again, £3.50 to hold the girls up. <laughs> so these are the best cotton wool pads ever. Like, they're the best. They're like stitched around the edges so they don't open up. I have this fear with cotton wool. It actually makes me feel sick. Like, when you open it up, or I can't, I'm not gonna explain it, because if any of you guys have got the same fear, then you know how horrible it is. Maybe fear is a bit of a dramatic word to use, but I really hate cotton wool when it's like opened up and stuff like that. So these ones are the best to get, and they're only 90p, so they will last you a long time. This was really random, but I clearly thought I needed it. This is an anti-back screen cleaner, one pound. Do you know what? I always watch some videos on TikTok of people like doing the ASMR with like cleaning their screens and stuff. And it made me think of that. <laughs> I just thought maybe I need it. Okay, there's a lot of clothes in here, which I'm sure you guys will be happy about. So next up, I picked up these shorts. Oh my God, I got them in the wrong size. Okay, I was meant to get them in a 12 and I got them in a 14. I don't know what the size will be like on but they're really cute little embroidered shorts and I thought these are perfect for holiday <laughs> again. But I did think I picked them up in the other side. I'm so confused because I remember saying to Bradley, I'll get the 12 because he was like, oh, what size? That's so annoying. Maybe the hanger says something different. I don't know. But hey, ho, I've got the receipt in there. I'll just have to take them back. But these are so cute. I do wish they had pockets though. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, quick lipstick break. I think they're really cute and definitely something that I wear a lot on holiday. So I can't believe these next items are from Primark. I can't believe it. So I turned around and saw trousers, linen trousers, okay, like this, super floaty, like my kind of style, linen trousers with little belt loops, perfect to wear perfect to have like a cute little belt on with it then i saw a blazer so i only saw the blazer in two sizes a size 8 and a size 16 so i picked up the size 16 and i'm gonna try and make it work i'm gonna try and like roll up the sleeves maybe ruche it a little bit make it the kind of like oversized look um if i had to pick i would have got a size 10 in the blazer I recently got a blazer from primark and i picked it up in the size 10 and it was literally it fit me like a glove um, and I was really upset, but I just didn't want to leave it because I thought, what if I can make it work? <laughs> what if it's a different style to the other one? It might be fine. So I picked it up and we're going to try and make it work. So this was £26. Did I say how much the bottoms were? The bottoms were £16. So really good. I like the padded shoulders. It feels like insane quality as well. Um, and this is what the material looks like up close like the color and everything in case you guys wanted to see so not only that i then turned around again and saw these shorts <laughs> i'm obsessed i'm actually obsessed with these um so i got these in a size 12 and these were 10 pounds they've got the belt loops they've got the lovely pocket how nice are these so you can obviously wear this with the blazer or you can just you know mix and match it in your wardrobe <sighs> love them really love them in the color i can't get over the quality like it's actually insane so i picked up some swimsuits <sighs> guys i'm literally obsessed so this is the first one i think i got them all in a size 12 slash medium i'm not sure if they're gonna fit i'm not the kind of person i hate trying things on in store because i get all hot and flustered the room's a bit small and i'm just like i can't do this especially when i've got more than like two things so i tend to pick up loads of things try it on at home then take it back i think with these you've just got to keep that in don't you but i always try it on with my knickers anyway and then i'll pop these in the wash so yeah anyway this is a swimsuit i love it i love the ruche detailing it's got padding it's got straps in case you want straps how insane is this I'm gonna keep this aside because I have something to go with it. But if you wanna see the pattern up close, like how stunning is that? Um, I also have some boring <laughs> swimsuits. Um, I picked up, actually, I don't think these are boring. I think these are cute. I picked up this swimsuit, it's like frilly. I don't know if it's got too much frills, like is it a lot going on? I don't know, I think it's cute. Um, again, in a size 12 and this was 12 pounds. So cute. 
and then I picked up a bikini. I haven't worn a bikini in years, so I'm not sure if I will wear one. But the bottoms were four pounds. Um, and then this is a really cute bandeau top. I got it in a size large. So this was £2.50. So what I'm thinking of doing is the back of it, just like tying it up, if that makes sense, because it's so annoying for me. I think I think the bust will fit. I think it'll be too big around the back, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I think it'll be fine if I just tie it up. Well, it's upside down. Um, but I think it's like a square neckline, I've just realized. So you can wear it obviously with or without the straps. So very cute. They, they had the most gorgeous cover-ups ever. This one matches the swimsuit. Now, I'm not sure if I'll wear it together. I don't know if it's a bit too matchy-matchy, like same but different. Yeah, I think it is. I think I'll wear this separately <laughs> because this is a little bit too much going on. But this would look lovely with like a white swimsuit or white bikini or anything. Like how gorgeous is this? So this is one size because you obviously just tie it up. Eight pounds, lovely sarong. Love that. I love a sarong on holiday. Is anyone else the same? Um, I picked up this cover up. So this was 15 pounds. I got it in a size large because that was the only size that they had. So I have a feeling it's gonna be a little bit big, but we're gonna make it work. <laughs> Cause I saw it and I was like, I don't care. I need it. Um, this was 15 pounds. Um, and it's a gorgeous white kind of linen material. Um, and just a beautiful cover up so it crosses over and then the back of it is like that so you can tighten it up which is good I just think it's like it's just extra material isn't it and then I saw that they done it in a blue um, so I picked this one up in a small um, so this was £15 and I think this will fit so much better so I love it I think if the large is obviously too big I'll just add it to the bag of stuff that I want to take back or swap but I'm obsessed. I might do like a bikini swimsuit try on thing on my Instagram. We'll see. I'm not promising, but I'm, I might try. And then the next thing I told you guys that I'm obsessed with this color at the minute. Um, I picked these trousers up in a size small. I'm hoping that they fit. It's more around my thighs that I struggle with things like this, but we'll see. Um, so these were 10 pounds. So they're really elasticated, which is good. And I held them up and they do look quite big. So I don't, it's one of those things that I know are meant to be oversized, but maybe I could make them look more fitted. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I think if I had to choose, I would have got a medium, but it should be fine. Um, and it does up at the waist as well, which is really good because you can kind of like ruche it a little bit. Um, so yeah, I really like these as a gorgeous cover up. And it matches that cover up as well. I've only got a couple more things, guys. So sorry, this is like the longest video ever. Guys, I told you I had the Hermes dupes. I'm so confused. These ones are six pounds. The others were seven. So these are like the traditional kind of Hermes sandals that I think of in my head. How insane are these? Like the white stitching. Like I'm fully obsessed. I love them. I'm just confused why these ones are six pounds and the black ones were seven pounds. Don't know why. I picked up some pop socks from me and Bradley. The amount of socks that we have and I put on and there's holes in, it's a joke. Like, like it's obviously Bradley because he wears my socks and they're obviously a lot smaller, but most socks that I have, they've got holes in. And I'm like, are you joking me? <laughs> just leave my socks alone. So a couple of accessory bits. Um, this is the cutest little key ring ever. It's obviously got my initial on and this was £2.50. Things like this I think are so cute if you're doing a goodie bag for someone or like a bridal goodie bag. I don't know. I think these would be like a really cute addition. Um, and then I picked up some jewellery bits. So these pearl earrings. So cute. £2. I actually have two holes um, in each of my ears. So things like this look really nice stacked which I thought would be cute. Um, and I think these are anklets, but I'm not 100% sure. I hope they are. Because they look like a little bit bigger than bracelets, but I'm not sure. It doesn't say it anywhere what they are. So I'm hoping that they are, but they look like this. Um, and they're really cute. I really love, especially like this one and that one. So cute. And then the last thing I need to show you guys 
This is a candle in a coconut. And the scent is fresh coconut. And I'm not even joking. I smelt this and I said to Bradley, oh my God, this is literally like summer in a candle. And I'm obsessed that this is in an actual coconut. I think this is insane. I love it. And I want to keep the coconut after and put like tea lights in it, I think. Um, so this was five pounds. How, I just, I can't get over it. How incredible is that? And honestly, it smells insane. So if you guys haven't smelt this, I definitely do. It's really strong and sweet, but I can just imagine me putting this on in the living room and then the scent just filling the house. So my lovelies, that was everything I picked up from Primark. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite things were in the comments down below. I think the sliders for me, I've just topped it. Um, I also saw some really nice bags on someone's Instagram. I can't remember who it was, but I remember going on someone's Instagram and they had like really nice bags from Primark. And I tried to look for them in ours, but they didn't have it. So I think hopefully next time, but I'm really happy with like all the swim stuff as well. I think this is gonna be so useful um, and I can't wait to wear it all for my holiday and this summer. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you again to Polish London for partly sponsoring today's video. I'll pop all the links down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one.